Hey guys, I'm Spammy and welcome to Super Game Plan Time, episode 17. In episode 17 we're going to take a look at Blade and Soul, the Chinese server, and I'm going to give you my first impressions and what uh, I think. Um, if you like the video, please click that uh, blue button, and uh, the blue button is actually the like button, and it used to be green, but for some reason it is being a jerk nowadays. And uh, the video that you see in the background is uh, the character creation for Blade and Soul, one of the best character creations that I've seen to date, and um, you have uh, on the right side some presets for uh, your character, for hair, you have some eyebrows, um, there might or not be a uh, sharing gun uh, eye model over there, so i let you guys uh, see for yourself. There are uh, some other um, presets over there uh, that we can check it out, uh, pff, stashes and things like that. Um, for those who people that uh, like to customize their colors and uh, really love the sliders, this game has a shit ton of sliders for you guys. You're probably going to spend hours over there doing uh, that perfect character for yourselves. But because I wanted to record this video, I uh, started directly to uh, play the game. I didn't uh, care how my character was going to look, which I'm pretty much getting right now. Anyways, um, let's talk about um, the movement system. The movement system in this game is uh, actually pretty fun, uh, especially as uh, a assassin that you have uh, a ton of stamina, you can run a lot. To run you simply press the forward and uh, shift button. You also get to double jump which is a win-win situation because everyone uh, likes to double jump. And um, there is also a uh, glide option that you can glide uh, right from the tutorial. From uh, pretty high places, you get to see the environment, and the environment is uh, really, really beautiful. It looks really, really great. Even though I run the game at the uh, lowest settings, um, the game still looks uh, pretty awesome. The characters look uh, really well done. Um, the voices for the characters are actually the most impressive. Even though I can't understand Chinese, they uh, sound really well uh, done. Um, the, the game seems really alive when you play it, and uh, that's uh, what impressed me the most. Um, the combat, the combat is actually pretty nice as a, as a scene, you get uh, to attack from uh, stealth mode, uh, whenever you attack from the stealth mode uh, you can actually stun uh, the map that you attack it, and you have enough time to attack uh, once or twice, so you can actually kill that mob without uh, getting hurt at all, that's pretty cool in my opinion. The skill system is actually pretty fun, I'm not going to go uh, uh, in deep details, but uh, the skill system looks like it's uh, a ton of fun. Um, the cutscenes, the cutscenes are uh, impressive. Um, you, I don't understand them, but uh, they're still uh, pretty awesome. What else? What else? The questing system is kind of the same shit you guys have seen uh, all this time. Um, only a bit refined. It doesn't feel like it's a drag to do the quest. Uh, at least at, at the first. Um, that's pretty much how the other games are uh, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's the first impressions for right now. I'm going to do more videos for the Blade and Soul, so make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao guys!